Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that I would just film a quick little video on my current skincare routine and what better way to show you guys other than to wash all of this junk off of my face. <laughs> oh goodness, I got it in my teeth. Look at that. Oh guys. Okay, so I've been, first of all, take off my lashes. And I've been taking my makeup off with coconut oil for a while now. It's just, I don't know, it's the best thing that i found that actually takes everything off. Um, it also is good for your eyelashes. So, it's a win-win situation. And I try to be as gentle as I can on my eyes, because I don't want, like, mega wrinkles. But sometimes it's just a little difficult. We're gonna look real cute in this video. So, I have yet to edit my video where I actually did this to my face. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna leave all of this in that video, or if I'm just going to kind of shorten it down to just my eye makeup, because my eye makeup turned out really pretty in the morning, but then this just didn't work out the way that I, uh, had originally planned, but if you want to see that, it's already on my channel. Well, right now, in my situation, it's not on my channel, but you guys know what I mean. And I don't normally do coconut oil, like, all over my face. I normally just keep it on my eyes, but seeing as how I have, like, eight pounds of makeup, like, everywhere else, I'm gonna use it. Yes, we are looking good. <laughs> good to know that I cannot pull uh, the whole beard look off. <laughs> Normally I would be in the shower doing this and it would just all like run off, but can't really take you guys in the shower with me. I like you guys, but not that much. <laughs> um, recently, I'm not like in love with this uh, cleanser, but it's just kind of like, I like, it, it It hasn't done anything bad to my face, so, you know, but it hasn't done anything like insanely special, but I've been using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost um, cleanser, which has the hyaluronic um, acid in it, so it's supposed to boost hydration for soft, supple skin and effectively remove makeup and impurities. God knows we need that. So I just take like two little pumps of it, and I'll wash my face. Whew. Really hoping that my battery doesn't die on you guys. It died in the last video that I filmed right before this, so hopefully we get lucky. Alright, so after that... Obviously, I'd be in the shower and it would run off my face, but we're just going to use this uh, washcloth and just wipe it all off. I mean, I always bring makeup down my neck, so I try to get all of that off also. Okay, so then after I have washed my face and gotten all of the soap off, um, lately, my mom and I both actually have been obsessed with the brand Lumine. Um, it's based out of Finland, I think. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's, it's based out of Finland. And, um, a lot of their products at CVS, which is where we ended up getting it, um, were discontinued. And I'm pretty sure that it's because they're, like, reformulating it and then putting it back out on the market. So, <laughs> basically, if you go to your CVS and they're still looming, like, I think... This little container was like $1.89. This was like $6 and something. I think this was around the same price. And normally, you could get this bottle for like 25 bucks, Like around that mark. So, it's a pretty darn good uh, deal there. After I've washed my face and everything, gotten out of the shower or whatever, I'll go in with the um, Urban, Urban Intense Hydrating Serum right here. 
but I'll just drop right here, there, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So I'll just rub it in. And literally, like, since I started using this stuff, I mean, obviously I know that there's, like, still some blemishes, like, around here, but, like, once my face, like, actually, like, dries and all the stuff is set in a little bit and my face has had time to kind of chill out and stop being, like, red after washing my face, um, it, like, these spots over here have faded so much since I've started using this. And my face is significantly less dry. So I'll just do that. And then I go back over it and I just kind of like pat it in. To kind of just like push it into my skin. Just like that. And then after that I'll take my Lumine Purity Dew Drop. Dew Drops Hydrating Eye Gel. Right here. And my family has like a long history of uh, like what is this, hooded eyes, where they like droop really badly over time, so I want to avoid that for as long as I can. So you just take this and you kind of put it like right under here, being really gentle with that area of the skin. And then I just kind of pat it in, and then I'll also kind of pat it up here. And this is supposed to, um, let me see. It doesn't say it on the bottle, but it's supposed to, like, help reduce dark circles and, obviously, like, wrinkles and stuff like that prevent them. And, yeah, I'm 22 years old, but you know what? I'm going to do preventative skincare. <laughs> I'm gonna marinate myself in this until, you know, I'm, like, 90 years old. Alright, so then, after that... I take this little jar of the Lumine Bright Now Vitamin C Night Cream, right here, and I'll just put that all over my face. And it smells, it smells so good. Like all their other stuff, it just smells like, like clean, you know, face, uh, skincare stuff, you know, like medicine-y kind of like skincare. But like this, it smells like a mixture of like lemon and orange. It just smells so good. Mmm smells so yummy. Um, and then after this, I forgot to bring it up here, but they have a, um, a face mist and it feels so good. I, I think it's, um, it's like supposed to, I can't remember like the exact name of it. Um, I'll try to link it down or not link it, but like I'll put it down below in the uh, description, but it's supposed to like stop in like gross stuff from outside from getting into your skin which is really nice, but it has like the most fine mist and it feels so good. But um, after I do all of this, I'll normally just kind of mist that over my face. And it is something that you can either do over top of all of this or you can do it, you know, before you do your makeup. You can do it after you do your makeup, halfway through the day. It's like one of those, it's like, it's kind of like Fix Plus where you can kind of just like, mi like put it on your face whenever. And I love it. It's so great. And I'll just kind of pat it into. Um, also, whenever I do have like these little like spots on my face here, there is. Let me go get it actually because I forgot about that. Okay, so yeah. Um, whenever I have like a, uh, a blemish on my face that just like won't go away or it's like driving me absolutely insane, there is this bentonite. Yeah, bentonite clay. And I just get it from my, like, local, um, nature, like, not organic food store. This powder right here. And there is one, and it actually, I think it's Aztec. It's, like, Aztec clay. I'll try to link it down below. I'll try to find it and see, like, if that is still sold. But, um, this is the same thing. Um, but all I do is I'll just take a little bit of it, and then I'll mix it with, apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar is supposed to like equal out the pH in your skin but you mix the two together until it's kind of like a uh, like a foamy paste and then you put it on the spot or you know you can put it on your whole face if you want to I just I, I normally use it just on spots um, but then just let it dry and wash it off and it's amazing I love it another thing that I've been doing for blemishes is I will take um, an Advil 
liquid capsule and take a needle and just like poke a hole in the end of it and if you squeeze it out and just kind of rub it on the spots it clears them up in like two days like literally I'll put it on there and then the next day it'll be like half the size that it was the only thing that I will say about that is if you've already popped a zit don't put it on there because it will burn <laughs> and it is not fun <laughs> um another thing that I have found my dad is calling me hold on a second hello so um, another thing that I found that works really well for me personally is these um, alcohol-free Stridex, Stridex, yeah, Stridex little wipes right here for sensitive skin. They have aloe in them, and I don't use them often, but if I have something that, um, like, normally I'll use it, like, if I've popped a zit or something like that, and I don't really want to, like, put a bunch of like moisturizer over it or whatever even though it might be okay for it it just kind of freaks me out I don't know but I'll wipe this over top of it so that it'll kind of dry it out and they work pretty well I like those last thing um that I've been using I've been I almost forgot about it but I've been using this um every other night when I wash my hair because I don't want my red to fade that much um is this Tatcha Polish Classic Rice Enzyme Powder this stuff is not cheap. <laughs> I will not lie to you. It is not cheap. What you do, it's this powder. I don't know if you can see that. It's this powder that you pour, it says a half a teaspoon into your wet hands. And as you like, literally just like a drop of water, like into your hand, you mix it together and it turns from a powder into like this liquidy paste. Or it has this exfoliate like these little exfoliating things in them and like as you're running it over your face it feels amazing so I honestly think that this has a lot to do also with these spots right here fading so between these and the Lumine my face is like a lot better than it used to be <laughs> let me tell you all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video um hopefully you know you guys are able to purchase some of this stuff and hopefully you can find some of this Lumine at CVS. I would hurry up and get over there and get it because literally me and my mom went to like every CVS in the area <laughs> trying to find it and we, ne we went like a day after and it had already been picked over. So go find them because they're cheap and it's awesome. That was really intense. I shouldn't have been that intense about that. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!